Thank you, uh, uh, Chairman Wyden and Ranking Member Risch for the opportunity to speak to you today about S-2166, the Voluntary Agricultural Land Repurposing Act, and for holding this hearing on Western water legislation. Uh, before I get into the act, I'm going to just join the chorus of Senator Kelly, Senator Cortez Masto, consider this the trifecta in uh, thanking and praising the work of Commissioner Tootin for all she's done uh, for years now, not just the last couple of months, but for some time now, uh, to keep us together on the Colorado River. Uh, and now the harder work begins as you look at what the framework and the agreements will be from 2027 and beyond. But to the issue before us today, uh, as I'm proud to remind all my colleagues, California is the number one agricultural state in the country and does uh, more than its uh, part to feed the nation. But it is getting harder and harder as California and much of the West uh, continues to face extreme weather whiplash. We've endured through severe drought that's forced farmers to fallow productive land, drought that's also decimated our environment and wildlife, only to now suffer through recent winter storms that flooded our orchards and, for, and forced the evacuation of entire communities. Every year, Californians figure out how to weather the latest storm or drought so that the rest of the country can continue to eat. But if this is going to continue, we will need bold action to protect California's and the West's rural economies, our agricultural economies, and our community's access to drinking water and our environment. So I'm glad to see Commissioner Tootin here with us today in April. The commissioner was in Southern California when we together announced over $300 million in federal funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law to strengthen infrastructure and improve water delivery canals in California, which, by the way, are a prime candidate for what Senator King was talking about. Solar panels over canals generate renewable energy and reduce evaporation. It's a win-win. But even with that announcement and that historic funding, uh, and how it will bolster our state's infrastructure, it's clear that a historic long-term mega drought and increasing water scarcity throughout the West is our reality and demands more widespread changes to secure our water supply. Every day we see the threats of water scarcity in the Colorado River Basin's water shortage, the Great Salt Lake's decline to record low levels, and California's subsidence due to groundwater overdraft in the Central Valley. Something's got to change. Now, one tool, one tool for the toolbox, but an important tool to bolster drought resilience is to work with our farmers on a voluntary basis. I repeat, on a voluntary basis to retire some agricultural lands, particularly where existing productivity is marginal or on lands where the opportunity to repurpose can provide other environmental or economic benefits to the surrounding communities or the region. In fact, in California, it's estimated that at least 750,000, maybe as many as 1 million acres of farmland will need to come out of production due to water scarcity. Think about that. A million acres being pulled out of agricultural production due to water scarcity. Now, if this land transition is not proactively managed, it could result in increased dust, pests, and weeds, and widespread economic and health impacts in those surrounding communities. And so my Voluntary Agricultural Land Repurposing Act will provide an important tool for states and communities to support the actions already underway to reduce water use in the West and work hand-in-hand -hand with farmers to transition certain agricultural lands to other uses. Specifically, my bill would authorize funding for states who choose to pilot and implement their own multi-benefit land repurposing programs. Eligible state-run programs must be base in scale, so we're talking about thinking big here, reduce consumptive water use, and repurpose irrigated agricultural land for at least 10 years. So we're not talking about a temporary retirement of agricultural land, minimum of 10 years. And I can't emphasize enough that this would be completely voluntary, as you've highlighted, Mr. Chairman. This would be voluntary for states who choose to participate, 
or they can choose not to. So again, I believe this is one of many tools that we need to give the Bureau of Reclamation to manage sustained drought so that we have enough water to maintain our agricultural economies for years to come. Thank you again, Mr. Chair, Ranking Member Rich, for allowing me to testify. Look forward to working with you, your staffs, and this committee uh, and stakeholders to move this bill through committee. Thank, thank and you, Senator law. Padilla. And I was struck listening to your remarks that had a little bit of a flavor of some of the things we Westerners, Senator Dane, Senator Rich, and I know when we talk about the forest. We all talk about multiple use. That's kind of our bedrock sort of principle. And the first thing out of the box you mentioned, in addition to being voluntary, is multiple benefits. So we thank you.